guys. Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Friday, September 20th, 2024. Welcome to another eBay video. In tonight's video, I have two main topics to discuss. One is the ever increasing and aggravating nag messages that eBay has been sending out. It has gotten to epic proportions and I'm doing some crazy things to try and avoid getting any more of them. The second topic I want to talk about is a bit of a rant. And it may or may not ruffle some feathers and that's just too bad. But it's a problem I've touched on before and I'm absolutely at my wit's end with this problem. So, that being said, let's start off with eBay nag messages eBay nag messages can come in many forms, but my major complaint with them is they are sent as alerts on our phones. So when I hear the alert tone of any kind, I'm thinking it's something important. Maybe it's a best offer, someone sending me an offer. Maybe it's a buyer with a legit question, okay, but no. It's these freaking annoying eBay nag messages and they've got to stop. Let me tell you some of the verbiage I've seen just this week and you'll know where I'm coming from. Some of them may say recently viewed. Others will say bid to win. Another one still available. How about don't let this item get away. And another one, take 20% off all high-end watches. In my opinion, every one of those is a needless alert. It's annoying, it's aggravating. I can't swear that it's happening in every single category. I've asked around and it's happening to everybody in eBay Motors. And I think a lot of it, for some reason, is concentrated in motors. But if you're in another category and it's happening to you, please tell us below. I'm telling you, I have gone through great lengths to try and avoid these nag messages. I used to put items in my watch list that I would want to snipe at the very end, which was very convenient for me. I can't do it anymore because eBay will stick it to you. If you put an item in your watch list Sunday morning at 10 a.m., within an hour or two, you will have a nag message. I invite anyone here watching this video to do it on eBay Motors and see what happens. It's horrible. It's so annoying, it makes me not want to buy the item. I have to go out and take all my items out of my watch list to avoid that nonsense. But that doesn't even alleviate it because just the fact I clicked, I clicked on that listing, now I get the recently viewed nag message. eBay, what you're doing is counterproductive. I've come out here for many weeks talking about this. It's only getting worse. You better stop it, all right? You better stop that crap because people don't want to be force fed. If a person is interested in the item, they can put it in their watch list. Nothing wrong with that. Now, if you want to remind them five minutes before it's ending, like you do, item ends in five minutes, that's fine. But this business of these nag messages is out of freaking control. I've never seen it this bad. I'm telling you something. I've been avoiding shopping on eBay this whole summer. And I'm not going to lie to you, I love eBay, I love selling there, and I used to love buying there. But as a buyer, I'm talking about as a buyer now, I've had nothing but problems this summer. I've purchased five items this summer on eBay. How many of them went 100% smoothly? You know how many? One. One. To 
rehash really quick because I don't want to get off on this tangent. I have much more to talk about. The first bad one was a guy who sold me four alloy wheel center caps. Two were broken. He didn't disclose this. He had no returns. I wrote to him. I explained. I showed him pictures. He basically told me to go screw myself in Macy's window. I'm not kidding you. And he's got a track record of bad customer service. The next two did the same thing. No, not the same thing as him, but the same thing as each other. They had items listed. I won the items, paid instantly. They sent me nothing. A week and a half went by in each case. I had to file item not received cases. Both of them did the same thing. I mean, they answered the case instantly, within 10 minutes. But they both clicked item shipped and put phony tracking or no tracking at all. All right, they didn't ship anything. I had to wait another week. But finally, those two items did arrive and they were as described, so I didn't pursue it. I was satisfied with the quality of the items, but the fact that the only way I can get what I paid for is to open an item not received case really, really sucks, okay? Number four was the person that actually did the right thing. I purchased an alloy wheel cap. They shipped it right out to me. Everything's great. The last one is the most intriguing because it's still ongoing. There was a person selling some hubs on eBay at a reasonable price through auction format. So I put the item, I didn't put it in my watch list. Oh no, I got burned like I told you earlier with their freaking nag messages. So I wrote down on a piece of paper the day and time. That's what I do now. That's what I have to do to avoid these scumbag eBay nag messages. I have to write down the day and time something's ending on a piece of paper like it's freaking 1981. So that's what I did. And sure enough, I sniped the item and got it. I think the starting bid was about $12. That was the starting bid. Several people bidding. I won the item for about $21 plus the shipping. Within half an hour, the seller messages me and starts the dance. And ba -ba 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 -ba. This is a seller dance, not a buyer dance. This is kind of unusual. He says to me, where do you get off? putting in that amount for shipping. I want to know how you came up with that amount. He's blaming me, the buyer, because he put in a shipping cost that he's going to lose money on. I've never had that happen in my 25 years on eBay. And I wrote back to him and I said, listen, I am the buyer. I have no control over how much the shipping is. I couldn't change the amount if I wanted to. Only the seller can do it. So first he said he's refusing to send me the items. He's going to back out of the deal because he doesn't want to lose anything on the deal. Then he starts in with a whole monologue of how he had COVID and wasn't feeling well. This guy was pulling excuses out of the sky. I still do not have the items. I still do not have a refund. I wrote to him and I said, I will wait till Monday, this Monday coming up. I said, if I don't see a tracking number and I don't see those things have been shipped, I'm opening a case and I will open the case. So that's where I'm at as an eBay buyer in the summer of 2024. I'm not very happy and I can understand why a lot of eBay buyers are not happy if they get jerked around by sellers like these, okay? I'm sure you guys watching this video would never even consider treating people like this. You're all good sellers. If you weren't good sellers, you wouldn't be watching my video or anybody else's videos for that matter, all right? So I know you guys are all with it, but it's unbelievable the lack of daisical attitude of some sellers. And I've been checking feedbacks. There are so many in the low 90s, 80s. I saw one the other day, 
In the old days, you didn't see that too often. They would kick you or suspend you. But I don't know what's going on lately. I really don't. But so much for eBay nag messages and bad sellers. I want to now switch to another topic that's going to definitely ruffle some feathers. And let me tell you something. Too freaking bad. All right? Let me lay the groundwork for this topic, if I may. After I take a sip of my soda. I don't think anybody watching this video is going to argue with me on this topic, except for those who have committed the violation, I'm going to tell you. I started making these videos around 2007, and even back then, my purpose was to address eBay problems, present them in an open forum, and try and help you guys solve these problems when they come up. Truthfully, I didn't expect the channel to grow like it did, but it did, and that's great. I'm happy. I am happy when I can present things to you, possible solutions, problems, and get your input and have an exchange with you, which is why I always encourage you to comment below. Now, I do realize there are some people out there that want to comment privately, one-on-one, -on -one, which is why I always have my personal email available, crazy New York driver at AOL.com, spelled the same way. I have mentioned this probably a hundred times over the years. I have no problem with any of you contacting me through my email and asking me a personal question about your problem or what's wrong with your eBay or things you would like to see change or whatever, that's all fine. <clears throat> but I draw the line when you're going to intrude on my private life, I'm sick of it, and it's not going to continue. I'm going to start exposing people, okay? As I've said in the past, there is a very small fraction of people that seem to think they're entitled to be able to contact me at my place of business or my eBay store or any way they damn please, and that I'm on call 24 hours a day. It ain't happening, okay? I've said this before, I'm just messed up in the head with that, that, that people can be this so freaking demanding and entitled, it mystifies me. It really does. I watch some other people's videos on eBay. Guys like me, who talk about eBay issues, some of them are pretty good, some of them are not very good. But it seems to me just about every one of them tries to get your money. They want you to be a Patreon subscriber, they want you to buy their hats, t-shirts, whatever. They want you to give them your money, okay? To my knowledge, I think I'm the only person doing these eBay videos that has never asked you for a dollar. Because that's not right. I need to make my own money. Everybody does. I shouldn't have to ask you for money. That, that's just beyond me. But anyway, out of respect for all that I've tried to do, I would think that everybody would value my privacy. I'm leading up to something here. I gotta tell you, I've had people over the years contact me at my job, and I don't like that, and they're not allowed to do it, all right? I have a job to do. How would you like it if you had a nine to five job and someone, a stranger, you're working. Whatever you do, whether you work on the assembly line, whether you're an office worker, who cares? Your phone rings, you pick it up. Hey, I got a complaint about eBay. What? You're at work. You're earning money. You shouldn't have to deal with that. Well, that's what's going on periodically. But anyway, I had something happen the other day that's never happened to me before. It was just after lunch earlier this week. I'm at work. My phone rings. It's an eBay seller. And he starts off by saying, listen, I know you don't like your view is calling you at work 
to complain about eBay topics, but I want to discuss something. After knowing that I have politely asked so many times not to call me at work, he goes ahead and does it anyway. All right. It gets better. So I talked to this guy for five minutes about eBay and his topics, and he's complaining. His complaint is valid. He's complaining that eBay is showing big box sellers ads on top of our listings. Okay? And he wants to send me a screenshot. I said, fine, you can send it. He wants to text it to me. So I said, sure, text me a picture. Let me repeat that. Text me a picture. All right? Five minutes later, I get done with him on the phone, put the phone down. All right? I get an alert on my phone. Text message, ding! 20 seconds later, ding! 20 more seconds, ding! This goes on and on and on. He sends me eight pictures approximately 20 seconds apart to the point that I'm starting to get aggravated and flustered with this phone. So I say to myself, I got to mute the phone. I got to turn the phone off to get away from this character. But just as I'm reaching for the phone, I get the piano music from eBay. So I said, all right. Oh, good, good, good. I got an offer from a buyer, or maybe I have a buyer with a legit question. Do you know it was the same guy? What I'm telling you is in the last five minutes, this guy has called me at work, texted me eight times, and contacted me through my eBay store to bitch and moan about his personal eBay problems. Now, I know you're saying, well, Joe, yeah, 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 okay, maybe you're embellishing a little bit. Well, that's why I'm going to show you a screenshot, okay? This is stopping now, okay? I'm going to read to you my response, and then I'm going to show you. This is my exact response once I was contacted through eBay, because that was the last straw. I got to tell you something. You got balls of steel. First you call me at work, then you text me. Now I gave you permission to text me once, but not so many times. And now you got to contact me through my eBay store? Jesus Christ, man, give me a break. Not long ago, I saw another person who makes eBay videos. I won't mention who he is, but you probably know. He also has a brick and mortar store, and he was complaining that one of his viewers did the same thing, called him up and wants him to stop doing his job and work on their problem. I just, where do people have the temerity to act in this manner? It never used to be this way. It's like the age of entitlement. Now, I know a lot of younger people are known to feel entitled in all fairness, this person was not young, okay? No way. So we can't use the age factor on that. But I, I'm really disgusted right now. I was this close to putting up a video saying no video this week because I'm sick of people harassing me. 99.9% .9 of you guys are wonderful people and you respect a person's privacy. I just cannot fathom how anybody would have the balls of steel to contact me three different ways within five minutes. Knowing, knowing I had asked them not to. I think I've gone on too long.
this is not the kind of topic I like to make. It's not the kind of topic I want to cover. But I swear to Jesus, if it ends the problem, I'm glad I did it, okay? Before you throw any shade my way, not that you would, please put yourself in my position. I have a job, all right? You cannot ask me to stop working at my job to solve personal problems. It ain't happening, okay? Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. I'm thankful for every one of my loyal subscribers who's been very nice and gracious and who's willing to contact me through my email if they want to talk to me personally. That's fine, okay? That being said, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful, informative, and entertaining. And I'm pretty sure most of you found it entertaining. Well, maybe except for one person. But anyway, I hope your eBay sales were good this week. It continues to be much slower than usual for Joe. Rock on and peace.